Hey there, friends. This is Cynthia. Welcome to this 35-minute audio power yoga class. We're going to burn it up, practice our balance, and then enjoy a juicy restorative shavasana to integrate all of our practice. Let's begin at the back of our mats now. So stand with me in Tadasana. Come to the back of your mat and stretch the four corners of your feet down into the earth and feel the bones of your body rooting down. As you feel the energy of groundedness, draw the low belly in, lengthen the front body by lifting your heart. The shoulders are now inhaled up to the ears, back and down the spine. Let your long arms open, palms facing forward. As you stretch a long neck, crown of head, hovering right there in the center of your being. Finding that equilibrium now, let's take three breaths right here. Breathing in. Open your mouth and let it go. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Palms come together at heart center. Set your intention. Say your prayer for yourself today. Beautiful. And now slowly float your eyes open. Release your hands. On your next inhale, reach to the sky. Take a deep breath, upward salute. As you exhale, forward fold, hinge from the hips with soft knees. Come on down. Let's just hang out here for a moment. And come to a flat back. Breathe in. And exhale, fold again. Two more. Flat backs, just like that. Push evenly into the feet as you lift to your heart. Lengthen. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And then bending the knees a lot, push into the earth to rise. Upward salute. Reach your arms up and over your head. Tap your fingers. Bring your palms down to the center of your being at your heart. Three half sun cells now moving with the breath. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, let it go. Rooting to rise, coming up, reaching into the sky as you breathe in. Exhale, palms meet at the heart. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, let it go down. Inhale, rising, pushing into the earth, spanning sky. And then palms meet at the heart center point. Bring them down. One more time. Here we go. Lift it high. Exhale, Uttanasana, fly down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release it. Hmm. And then let's bend the knees, look forward, walk into downward facing dog. Springle fingers spread radiantly, wrist creases are even with the top of your mat. Push evenly through your fingertips and the base of your palms and stretch your long arms, sending the tailbone and the seat back. Take a deep breath here. And exhale. As you walk it out here, breathing deeply and fully exhaling. Finding your ujjayi breath now, gentle constriction at the back of your throat. Stretching and moving your body, letting your shoulders now draw away from the ears as you open up through the clavicle. 
Stay in your down dog. Four on the floor for two more breaths. Here we go. Breathe in, fill up. Exhale, feel the calves, the ankles, and the soles of the feet now getting a nice stretch. One more breath. And one more exhale here. Coming into plank waves now, tippy toe, and articulate the spine as you pull the belly in, come forward into plank. Shoulders and wrists are aligned. Crown of the head stretching forward. Draw the belly up and away from the earth. Take an inhale here. And exhale back to down dog. Three of those. Inhale, tippy toe, come into your plank. Exhale. <clears throat> Pause on the inhale. Lengthen. And then push it back to your down dog. Good job. One more time. Up go the heels into plank position. Feel strong here. Inhale. Lengthen your body. Exhale. Down dog. <laughs> great, great job. This time come into your plank as you roll into that wave. And then let your knees, chest, and chin come down. Bend your elbows and let your body come right down there for gentle cobra waves. Three of them now. Reaching up gently. Lift your torso. Lift your gaze. Breathe in. And exhale. Fold down. Let the chin tap on the mat. Inhale. Lift up your heart. Exhale. Relax down. Inhale, rising. And exhale, lowering. Hmm. One more time. Here we go. Use your upper body, your glutes to lift you. And then exhale, come on back down. Hands go back by the rib cage. Push up into plank by tucking the toes and drawing your body up. And then exhale it back into your downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Pause here for three breaths. Inhaling. And exhaling. Hmm. Let your inner thighs draw in and back towards the back of your mat as you root down through the hands and the feet. Maybe the heels, balls of the feet definitely pushing in opposite directions. Sending your seat to the sky. One more breath here in your down dog. Now walking feet together, let's bring that right leg high, kicking it into the sky. Point your toe, feel the stretch, feel the length of your being. And then bend your knee, open your hip, keeping your shoulders squared to the mat. Feel that energy now as you're feeling your toes of your right foot pulling up towards the left corner of your mat. And then exhale, coming into core plank, bring the right knee under your chest and hug it into one-legged plank. Inhale, stretch it back up, make it a three-legged dog. And then exhale, back to core plank. One more time, just like that, down dog kick. And exhale, back to your core plank. This time, bring your foot down onto the mat between your hands and come into low lunge, back knee rest down. As you walk your body up, stacking shoulders over hips, draw deep inhale, swoop arms forward and up. Exhale to cactus, shoulders, elbows aligned, palms face forward. Stay here for a breath. Exhale, bring palms together, prayer hands, elbows tapping in front of body. Inhale, open back to cactus. Exhale, prayer hands, elbows meet. Inhale to open now, last time. Exhale, bring palms and elbows together here at the center of your being and hold them. And then coming into a prayer hands twist, bring your hands down to your chest, taking left elbow to right outer part of knee, 
Coil and turn your body, twisting from the waist. Press palms together, open your heart and your shoulder to the right side of your mat. Stay here and breathe, inhale and exhale. If you want more, you can tuck your back toe, lift your back knee. Come right in there to that full, strong, low lunge twist. Another exhale here. Let the burn start coming into your legs. Uncoil, hands meet the mat, and kick the right leg back up to the sky for downward facing dog. Breathe in. And exhale, right foot comes down. Take your vinyasa plank wave. Here we go. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Pausing for one breath here. Now let that go. Let's hit the other side. Left leg kicking high. Point that toe. Feel your body squaring as you open your left hip. Bending the knee. Draw that knee right there and open up the hip a little more as you press the toe of your left foot up towards the right corner of your mat. And on an exhale, find your core plank. Draw your knee into your chest, belly pulling up and in. And then inhale, kick it back to down dog kick. Exhale, core plank. You've got one more. Inhale, kick it. Exhale, core plank. Shift into your right hand. Now let your left foot drop down there. Coming into low lunge, place your back back knee down. Rising up, torso, arms lifting to the sky. Big inhale. And then look forward, exhale, cactus arms. Prayer hands, elbows meet in the front, shoulders come down. Inhale, back into your cactus. Exhale, close it in. One more time. Here we go. Cactus. And exhale. Elbows, palms meet. Bring the prayer hands down to your heart for your twist to the left side. Right elbow to left knee. Lengthen on the in-breath. And exhale. Twist it as you come looking over your left shoulder. Couple breaths here. You're welcome to tuck your back toe. Lift the back knee if that feels good to you. Squeeze the muscles of that back leg to extend through the crown of your leg, breathing in and breathing out. Hands coming back to center, place them down on the mat, coming to down dog kick, left leg flies, open your hip and then exhale, place it down into your downward facing dog and finding your beautiful vinyasa. Inhale to plank position, exhale as you lower. Inhale, draw the heart through the gateway of the arms for your back bend. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. You're here for four breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release all of that energy that you don't need anymore. And building up the heat in your body. Notice how you're feeling. How your body's responding to this energy as you gain more power. One more breath here in down dog. Beautiful. Take a look at the top of your mat. Step, jump, or hop now into a forward fold there. And we're going to hang out right here in Uttanasana at the top of the mat, letting your feet be grounded, belly drawing in, extending and lengthening through both sides of the waist. Lift your heart a bit and then fold down a little more. Feet are hip width distance as you pause for just a couple more breaths here. If it feels good to you, maybe reach behind you, interlace the hands. Hastasana here, index finger pointing straight away, lengthen straight arms up and lift them up and over your head as you bow. Deep full body breath here. 
and exhale. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Beautiful. Release the hands down. Coming into chair position. Pressing through the feet. Bend the knees a lot. Sink the seat. And then swoop the arms forward. And bring your torso just halfway up. With that beautiful body right there. Drawing your energy back towards the back of your mat. Looking down at your toes. Seeing them. Wiggling them as you lift them up. And then placing them back down. <laughs> Feel the belly draw in, the tailbone tip down, shoulder blades draw back and down. Arms are extended forward, right up by your ears, long neck. Feel the crown of your head and the play of opposites from your tailbone. Let the heat come in the legs, maybe lower down just another inch. One more breath here. Staying in your chair now. On your next inhale, breathe in through the fingertips. Inhale. And as you exhale, send the hands behind you. Straight arms rise back there, right onto your tippy toes. And stay here. Gather up a breath here. We're going to flow just like that now. Lower the heels down. Swoop the arms back forward. Breathe in. On your exhale, shift onto the balls of the feet, send the hands back. Keep the big bend of the knees. Use the inner thighs to draw you down. Inhale to your chair, heels down. And exhale back into tippy toe chair. One more time, lift into your chair. And exhale, tippy toe chair. Feel the triceps engaged here. Hold it as you breathe, maybe lowering down just an inch, balancing here just for one more breath. Inhale through the nose. And now lower the heels, exhale, come on down into Uttanasana. Great job. <laughs> Sway here, relax. Maybe find ragdoll, clasping the elbows if that feels good to you. Pausing for just a couple of breaths. Breathe into flat back, lengthen. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale to rise, upward salute. Fingers tapping overhead. Exhale, palms meet at the heart. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Your choice, jump it back to your chaturanga or come to down dog first. Either way, we'll take our vinyasas meeting in downward facing dog. And in your down dog now, take a deep inhale and a deep exhale, finding your equilibrium, feeling your power in this harmonic balance you have going on right now. Let's come into core plank variation now. As you press down through long, strong arms, walk the feet together. Feel your long neck relaxing, kicking the right leg high, point the toe, open the hip, and use that toe once again to take that flying leg and really arch your back Pressing that toe towards the diagonal left side of your mat. Feel the whole right side of your body opening. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then coming into your core plank, we're twisting now, taking that right knee forward to the left elbow. Exhale out. Inhale back to down dog kick. Exhale right knee, right elbow. Bring it in. Bending the elbows if you want to. And then bring it back to down dog kick. Inhale. And core plank. Exhale. Knee to center. 
pausing here, coming into Fallen Star, shifting weight into the right hand now. You're going to lower down the inside left sole of your foot, coming onto side plank. Take your right foot out, leg is straight now, and press down on the outer edge of your right foot in a side plank tripod position here pushing down through your hand and two feet. Breathe in, lift the hips, arm flies up to the sky. You've got it for two breaths. And one more inhale here, be strong. And exhale, excellent, let yourself come back. Hands on the mat, beautiful. Take downward facing dog kick, right foot flies, send it up, breathe in. Exhale, now come forward into crescent lunge. Step your right leg through right there between your hands and then lift your body, lift your torso, lift your arms. Back knee stays up, breathing in. And big exhale, stay here, lower the shoulders. Feel the energy of your neck releasing. Get grounded as you press through your feet pushing them apart and away like you're tearing your mat apart. Keeping your body right there stacked. Wrists, elbows, shoulders, hips. Feeling that strength now and feeling the ease. Arms extended up, draw a deep breath, energize through the fingertips. And just like before in our chair, let's lunge the heart forward, send the hands back into a diagonal slash. Your superpower here. Hands back, triceps engaged, stay here. Feel the length of your body and then switch the hands, draw them forward, up and over your head, lift your torso back to high crescent. Inhale, we're gonna flow like that. Inhale, arms in crescent. Exhale, diagonal slash. Hands go back. Inhale, rising crescent. Sweep arms back, torso, hips, everything squared to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift it last time. Exhale, bring them back. We're coming into warrior three balancing pose. You can leave your hands back or place prayer hands at the chest. Walk the back foot just a couple of inches inward and then lunge forward. Press into your right leg as you kick your left leg behind you. Seeing if you can keep your hips level and square. The energy of your body in balance is stretching the crown of your head forward. Sending the tailbone and the toes back. Stay here for just another breath. Excellent. Bend the standing leg. Take the big step back to your high crescent. Hands fly up. Breathe in. Let's pivot to the left side now. Coming into Prasarita. Coming with the feet parallel now. Take a deep breath. Reach up. And on your exhale, forward fold, hinging from the hips. Come on down. We're going to pause here for a couple of breaths and catch our breath, right? You're doing great. Turn the head no and yes, relaxing everything. Placing hands on hips now, preparing to rise. Walk your feet in a little closer, pressing into and through your bones. Press into your feet, take a flat back. And then continue rising all the way up to standing. Release your hands from your hips. Bring them over your head. Breathe in. And then finding warrior two. Right toes point forward. Bending through the front right knee. Arms extended out. The energy of your fingers expanding your heart. Dry the belly and the ribcage back. Right knee hovers right over. Right ankle. Stretch a long straight leg back behind you into the earth. Stay here for two more breaths. Taking movement with our warrior now, straighten both legs, tap fingers overhead. And exhale back to warrior, hands go out. Inhale, rising, reaching high. 
and exhale, warrior two, once again. Two more times, breathing in, reach up, and exhale, bring it down. Last time lifted, here you go, stay at the top. As you exhale now, reverse triangle, left hand down, right hand flies, arcing, and breathing here, stretching. And now let's come into extended side angle, bend the right knee, right elbow comes down, left hand flies up and over your head. Feel your body opening from the groundedness of your back foot as you spiral your heart and your left palm back. Beautiful breath here. And exhale. One more inhale. One more exhale. Awesome, release the pose. Coming into reverse warrior. Now big bend stays in the front knee, right hand flies, lateral bend over back leg. Exhale, hands to the mat, taking your vinyasa. Exhale as you lower body, one long plank. Inhale, back bend, push the hands in to the mat. And then exhale to downward facing dog, breathing in. And breathing out. Awesome. One more breath here. And one more exhale here. Taking that core plank variation to the other leg. Walk feet together. Lift left leg high. Breathing in. Stay here as you exhale. Bend your knee. Pointing left toes to the top right corner of your mat. Feel your hands and shoulders squaring. Breathing. Stretching. As you exhale now, come into plank, crossing over left knee, coming to right elbow. Kick it back to your down dog kick. Exhale, core plank once again, left leg, left arm. Inhale, back to down dog kick. Last time, coming right there to the center, draw the knee into the chest, hug and hold it there. Empty out. And then finding fallen star, shifting onto your left hand now, extending left leg long, press down into the sides of both feet and lift your right arm high as you open up your body. Coming here now, stretching through the feet and the hand as you lift the hips, breathing for three. There's two. And one, great job. Place your hand back down on the mat. Send your body back, seat to the sky for downward facing dog. Beautiful, breathing in and breathing out. Taking now your high kick and step right through into your high crescent lunge. Left foot down between the hands, lift the torso, lift the arms. Inhale here, reach high. Exhale, shoulders drawing down and away from your ears. Long body, long neck. On an inhale, stretch fingers higher. Exhale, diagonal sash, bring heart forward, hands go back. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, lunge forward again. Two more, inhale, crescent. Exhale, superpower, slash. Last time in your high crescent. Last time, diagonal slash. Exhale. Preparing for balancing. Vira Bhadrasana three, palms meet at the heart center or by the sides of your body. Walk back foot in a couple of inches. Shift the weight of your body into your long straight left leg as you step in there. Heart is flying. Leg is lifted, toe is pointed. Stretching. You've got this for three. There's two. And one. Step to your high crescent lunge. Breathe in, arms fly to the sky. Exhale, pivot around now, coming all the way to the right side of the mat into five-pointed star. Feet are parallel, arms outstretched. Let's swan dive down into Prasarita Parottanasana. Get your feet a little wider here. Feel your body just totally 
shifting to the balls and the heels evenly as you extend and lengthen through both sides of the waist. Let it all go now. Deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Beautiful. Pushing through the bones of your feet. Push in. Hands go on hips and then come to a flat back. Keep rising up to your five-pointed star. Breathe in. And finding warrior two now. Left toes point forward. Bend through the front left knee. Stretch the hands out. Sink the pelvis down. Pausing here now. Checking your feet. Getting them aligned. Front heel with the back. Mid part of your back foot. Don't forget where you, where you came from. Stretching that long leg. All the muscles hugging the bone back there. Let your front knee come into a right angle maybe opening through the inner thigh. Stay here for just another breath. And settle in, relaxing, shoulders down. Warrior two flow, straight legs, straight arms, reaching up and overhead, big breath. Exhale back, long arms out to warrior two. Inhale, rising. Exhale, warrior two once again. Two more, inhale, lifting. Exhale, lunging. Last time, lift it, stay here. Exhale, reverse triangle. Left fingers fly, right fingers down. Arc your body back. Pause for a breath. And exhale to extended side angle, bending left knee, lightly placing left elbow down there. Right arm sweeping the sky, maybe up by the ear. Feel your body opening there. Ha, ah, breathing. And exhaling. Make sure you're not collapsing through the chest. Let your heart stay buoyant. Feel the right glute, glute drawing the hips in there towards the center of your mat. One more breath. Beautiful. And then exhale, taking hands down to the mat. Gorgeous. Coming into downward facing dog. Finding your vinyasa any way you want it. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Great, great job. Pausing in your down dog for just three or four breaths here. Breathing in. Breathing out. And letting your heart now come into the slower rhythm now of a stillness of your body. Fully and softly, big, easy inhales and exhales. See if you can match your in-breath with your out-breath. Cooling down now, beautiful. One more breath here. And look forward, soften through the knees, come down to tabletop position on the mat. Take a few rounds of cat-cow, big breath in, drop the belly, look forward. Exhale to your cat. Three or four of those moving at your own pace, breathe in. And relaxing as you breathe out, pushing the earth away. Taking any organic movements here. And come back to the neutral spine. Great job. We're going to draw back to a big, juicy child's pose. Draw toes together, knees go wide. Stretch hands forward now to the top of your mat. Lengthen as you breathe in here. Exhale, lay your forehead down. Seat stretching back and feel that play of opposites there. As you relax the shoulders, maybe softening the forearms down. And breathe here. Maybe swaying the hips side to side. Do whatever feels good. You've got this child's pose for three breaths. Enjoy them.
And as you're breathing, is settling, acknowledging your intention once again. And noticing how you have empowered your purpose today just by stepping onto your mat. Gorgeous. Let's draw the body up. Take a seat right there in the middle of our mats. Spin the feet around to the top. Place the soles of the feet down and use your core now to lower down onto your back. When you get down there, draw knees into the chest. Take circles, one direction and the other, just relaxing. Draw a deep inhale here and then draw knees back to center of the body, holding on now beneath your kneecaps with each hand. Coming into a modified happy baby, get your knees so wide here as you press through the sacrum down. Lengthening and breathing and then holding onto the legs, let the knees stay wide and drop down as far as your arms go. When you get down there, draw the knees together down there in the center of the body and then hug them back into your chest. Exhale. Inhale, open wide, do that again. Exhale, knees drop down. Bring them back to center. Exhale, draw them into your chest. Take a couple more just like that. Opening wide, sending them down. Keeping your sacrum long and down. Draw them back into your chest. And then reverse it, keeping knees into heart center. Draw them down, holding on in the center of the body. And then open them wide down. And then draw the knees up wide to the shoulders and back to center. Take that in that direction, circling them. Maybe tucking the chin a little bit, relaxing everything, feeling the hips open. Bring knees back to center, placing both feet down and pop it up to bridge pose now, stretching everything through this psoas right there in the front body as you extend your arms down beside you. Pressing into strong legs, keep your knees the width of your body there. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Awesome. Now keeping your feet down on the mat, lower down your body one inch at a time, coming down through the vertebra and letting everything rest down on the mat. We're coming into figure four stretch. So kicking up the left leg to the sky, lift it long and strong, engage all the muscles as you keep the toes pointing up to the sky. Now flex and point your foot. Feel that stretch through the calf, Achilles and the foot. And then take circles with your ankle one way and the other, releasing any tension there. And now taking figure four, left ankle crosses right knee, hands drawing the right thigh into the chest, bringing right knee in as you lengthen through the body, open through the inner groin of your left inner thigh there, as you let the left knee just come wide. Stay here for just a couple of breaths. Awesome, one more breath here. And coming back onto your back. Beautiful job. Draw both knees into chest. Lift your upper body into that tiny little ball. Get small as you kiss your knees. And then as you exhale, let the upper body rest down, taking figure four on the other side. Left foot stamps the mat. Right leg flies now. Toes are pointed. Coming now. Feet are flexing. And they are feeling this stretch. And then circling the ankle, taking your time, feeling all the crinks coming out of that space. <laughs> Great job. And whenever you're ready, finding your beautiful 
Figure four, stretch right ankle. Tapping right there on that left thigh. Draw the left thigh in. Breathe in and lengthen. Exhale and compress that knee back into your body as you rest. Take a few breaths here in figure four. Excellent. Now bring your body back into your beautiful feet meeting on the mat. We're taking spinal twist, extending the arms out to a T. Let your knees fall over to the right now. You can stack them or you can cross them, whatever feels good through that left side of your body now. As you gaze out over your left shoulder, close your eyes, take a deep breath. And exhale, let it go. Coming back to center, knees hugging in, coming into that tiny pebble. Once again, lift everything off of the mat except your low belly, your low back. And then let yourself come down, feet stamping down for just a moment. Upper body rest, arm go to a T and let's twist it to the left. Inhale. And exhale. Mm, beautiful. And now let's come back to center. And let your body now come down into your Shavasana. Let gravity come in as you just extend your arms. Let the palms float up and open to the sky to receive. Beautiful breath here, taking up plenty of space now. Settle in. Exhale and soften the face, the shoulders, the ribs, the belly. And letting go of anything now. Close your eyes. And take this time now just for you. I will leave you here and I encourage you to stay as long as you like. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Many blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.